I know this is uh, it's a very sad moment, very, very sad moment. Oh Nigeria, oh Nigeria, oh Nigeria. I believe that your days of liberation is close. The days of your liberation is close by. It is a sad day. It is a sad day for me to watch and to see the killing of my children, our children, the hope of this great country, intelligent children, inspiring children, people that have maintained themselves, maintained their calmness. They were focused in demanding a nation that would be able to give them a hope. Even to the point of death, they were still holding the Nigerian flag. To the point of death, Antonio Kechuku and others were crying and declaring peace and unity. One of them was saying, La ilaha illallah. There was no religion, there was no tribe. They had only one tribe, and that is Nigeria. You do not know from the north or from the south or from the west. Oh, Nigeria. Oh, Nigerian leaders. Shame on you, the governor of Lagos State. I was bragging and I was talking about how you were reaching out. And suddenly you allow this. I had counseled this government. I have spoken. I have reached out to these young people. We were trying to put their heads together. We were trying to get them much more organized to be able to present their need as their own parents. How can you take a gun to shoot? How can you go in there? You soldiers and the military are supposed to give them the support that they need. They need the protection. You needed to side and stand with them against the talks that were being hired and sponsored by wicked politicians. And you will drive your ammo tongues into these children. I am pain in my heart as a father. Just last night in the city of Jaws, I was driving home and I saw these protesters. I dropped to go and address them to stay calm. To make sure that they do not allow anybody become violent among them. Shame on all that ordered the military to kill to mother these young Nigerians holding the flag and singing the national anthem. That's the pride of all of us. I've spent my life going around the world to protect the image of Nigeria, to defend the glory of this country. I've moved around this country speaking about to Nigerians and young Nigerians to have hope for their nation. It's not a shame for you to be able to see the future of this country. You ruining their lives. They were not asking for you to break this country. They were not joining for anybody asking for secession. All they are asking is give us a hope. Talk to our intelligent mind. These are intelligent young people that they need an intelligent answer. And there is no father... There is no father that will mother his children when they want to know, do you have a place for us? You needed to talk with them. They needed an engagement. Even if it will take us the next three months as fathers trying to engage them. Some of us have devoted our time to engage them and talk with them. Why would you come to kill them? Why would you come to mother them? I stand in solidarity with our young people. There is hope for you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The Nigeria of your dream will surely be. Don't give up hope on this great country. Nigeria is yours. You are not the leaders of tomorrow. You are the leaders of now. We, your parents, are in pain. I commiserate with all the family that have lost their children. These children are heroes. Their blood will never go in vain. Their blood will speak for a new season. There's always a time. Pain will always give meaning to purpose. Pain will always give meaning to purpose. Stand. Stay focused. Stay strong. Let's keep praying. Let's keep proclaiming. 
Nigeria will become the Nigeria that we all desire to see. I am in pain. I am in sadness. I am in pain. These wonderful, vibrant young people, handsome, vibrant young girls and women, they never pick a stone to shoot at anybody. They never broke into any office. They never shut down anybody's business. They were only crying. We need attention for a new Nigeria. What plan do you have for us? And I thought that we should be able to engage them. These children came out of their complacency. They decided to take this matter on their own hands. They decided to put on the garment of courage to negotiate a bright future for themselves. I saw this young man by myself weeping and crying, not in the pot house, not in the beer parlor, not in an entertainment venue, but they were all sitting crying for a new Nigeria. They were not abusing the government. They were not standing against the system. They were only saying, come and tell us what plan you have to restore our hope. And this is what we can pay these young people with. Whatever it will cost, we will stand with our children. We will stand to the last moment with our children who decided to comport themselves and speak out. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking out until you get the nation that you want to get. But I want to say to all our leaders, it is shame on you. To the governor of Lagos State, it is a shame on you. It is shame on you. This is what I counsel most of you, never to try it. And this is the consequences of our actions. Things have changed. And we needed to know that at this particular stage, we needed to strengthen the hands of our children. Have we not told them that they have been complacent all this while? Staying on big, uh, big Nigeria, be big Nigeria and all of that. And we asked them to wake up to their responsibility. And now they have woken up to their responsibility. Is to see some of you hiring talks to go and disrupt or hiring talks to burn houses and destroy and kill this peaceful protest. People that were praying, look at the young man. He was praying and he was gone down. Praying, he was gone down. The prayer of the innocent would never go in vain. The Lord will surely fight. The Lord will surely fight. Be courageous, Nigerians. We will surely get through the promised land. It's a great nation. And things will never be the same again. You can kill the people, but you can never kill the blood of the innocent. You can kill the vision, but you can never kill the vision. Nigeria will surely rise and we will see the great nation. God bless you. And God bless Nigeria. God bless our sons and our daughters. I want to say, you evil men, you may win the fight, but you have not won the war. The struggle continues. No retreat, no surrender. Until Nigeria is made great. I want to say to every Nigerian, let's continue the prayers. Let's continue the prayer gathering. Let's continue the prayer in our assemblies, in the, in the mocks, in the churches. Let's continue the prayer on our streets, proclaiming the glory of God. God said, and I will raise watchmen upon thy walls that will not hold their peace day or night until Nigeria is made a praise upon the earth. And please, let's join the millions of Nigerians to mourn these fallen great heroes. Let's stand. They should not be buried anyhow. They must be honored and celebrated. Our children will fly high in this country. Let's continue the prayer. Let's continue the prayer. We serve the living God. And God will surely 
bring us to the fullness. We are getting to the close of the manifestation of God's purpose for this nation. And join all spiritual leaders to arise and lead the people in prayer. We shall surely win. We shall surely win.